This is Wrestling's Greatest Moments. Hey now, wrestling fans. It's time for another episode of Wrestling's Greatest Moments, Who's That Wrestler? Where we provide five clues and you have to guess the wrestler's identity. The less clues you need to get the answer, the better your score. Before we get started, though, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Here are the rules. You have five clues to guess each wrestler's identity, that is, the wrestling name they're best known by. If you answer the question with the first clue, you earn five points. If you answer the question by the second clue, you get four points, and so on, with the fifth and last clue being worth one point. If you don't answer the question within five clues, you get a whole lot of nothing. And this week, we're introducing a new feature, Dare to Play the Wild Card. Starting this week, Who's that wrestler adds a wild card to the mix? We'll give you the subject. The question could be easy, medium, or hard. You won't know, though, until you play it. And it's a multiple choice question, or as we used to say in school, multiple guess. If you answer it right, you add five points to your score. However, answer it wrong, and you deduct five points. Keep in mind, the wild card is optional. Here's an example, and it's not worth any points. So today's category, the Road Warriors. You play the card and you find out your difficulty is easy. Lucky you. Okay, the question is, which of these tag team titles weren't held by the Road Warriors? Number one, the AWA World Tag Team Championship. Number two, the WWF Tag Team Championship. Number three, the ECW Tag Team Championship. Or number four, the NWA World Tag Team Championship. The answer is three, the ECW Tag Team Championship. Remember, the wild card is optional. Good luck. Question one, easy. Clue number one. This magnificent wrestler was born on September 10th, 1949 in Sunset Beach, Hawaii. Clue number two. During a match against a jobber, his manager, Captain Lou Albano, fed him a meatball bomber. Clue number three. This wrestler was known for his finisher, the reverse pile driver, and he also used the Asiatic spike. Clue number four. This wrestler's WWF career saw him hold the Intercontinental Championship two times, and he also won the first ever King of the Ring tournament in 1985. Clue number five. This wrestler was involved in a legendary feud against Jimmy Superfly Snuka that led to a cage match in Madison Square Garden where Snuka performed his Superfly Splash from atop the cage. Who's that wrestler? Who is Don Morocco, a.k.a. The Magnificent Morocco? Question 2. Easy. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on September 15, 1953 in Buffalo, New York. Some fans might say he was comfortable in both leather and lace. Clue number two. Although he held many tag team championships, including the NWA America's Tag Team Championship with Roddy Piper, a man he would famously feud with years later, he also won the so-called Undisputed World Championship in Southwest Championship Wrestling after defeating Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. in the tournament final. Clue number three. This wrestler was the East to Jesse Ventura's West in the AWA. There, they held the AWA World Tag Team Championship. Clue number four. This wrestler was the North to Dick Murdoch's South in the WWF. There, they held the WWF World Tag Team Championship before dropping it to the U.S. Express, Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda. Clue number five. This wrestler famously feuded with Rowdy Roddy Piper after turning Piper's pit into the flower shop. Their feud culminated in a match at WrestleMania three. Who's that wrestler? Who is Adrian Adonis. Question three. Medium. Clue number one. This wrestler was born on March 1st, 1986 in Tampa, Florida. He would later return to the Sunshine State to train to become a WWE superstar. Clue number two. 
This wrestler won a state championship in wrestling in high school and played college football at the University of Iowa. He also competed in powerlifting, winning a USA Powerlifting Championship in 2010 and 2011. His strongman skills would come in handy with his finisher. Clue number three. This big man trained in the WWE's Florida Championship Wrestling Developmental Territory before it transformed into NXT. In NXT, he feuded with the Shield and won the NXT Championship. Clue number four. He debuted on the main roster in 2012, serving as Dolph Ziggler's bodyguard. In 2013, he captured his first singles title on the main roster when he defeated Curtis Axel for the Intercontinental Championship, the first of several singles and tag team titles. Clue number five. Although he was known for his record-breaking run as a tag team champion, a record since broken, he also captured a world singles title in 2021 after cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Who's that wrestler? Who is Big E? Question 4. Medium. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born on September 7th, 1977 in Forest Lake, Minnesota. Dean Malenko trained her to become a wrestler. Clue number two. This wrestler made her WWF debut in 1997, competing as Starla Saxton. Clue number three. This wrestler worked on the independent circuit before a stint in WCW as a member of Macho Man Randy Savage's Team Madness. Clue number four. A later run in the WWF saw her serve as William Regal's valet, Lady Ophelia. Eventually, she worked in her best-known gimmick, working with her storyline cousins and having a kayfabe romance with one of her cousin's opponents. Clue number five. This wrestler reached the top of the mountain, winning the WWE Women's Championship two times. Color commentator Jerry the King Lawler sometimes mocked her for wearing what he called granny panties. Who's that wrestler? Who is Molly Holly? Question 5. Hard. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born on June 22, 1942 in Port Arthur, Texas. He competed in Golden Gloves boxing before switching to professional wrestling. Clue number 2. This wrestler was trained by wrestler slash promoter Paul Bosch. Clue number 3. This wrestler is sometimes confused with the promoter who founded Georgia Championship Wrestling. The confusion isn't a surprise, as they share the same first and last name. Clue number four. Although this wrestler competed in several territories, he was best known for his run in Championship Wrestling from Florida in Jim Crockett Promotions' Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. In Florida, he portrayed the masked wrestler Mr. Florida and was involved in an infamous angle where his opponent stuck a lit cigar in his eye. Clue number five. This wrestler was best known for several extended campaigns in Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, where he wrestled and later managed. His long-running feud with Boogie Woogie Man Jimmy Valiant in the mid-80s saw him send a slew of wrestlers in a futile effort to run Valiant out of the territory. Who's that wrestler? Who is Paul Jones? Question 6. Hard. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born in Tokyo, Japan on February 1, 1942. He later represented his country at the Tokyo Olympics. Clue number 2. This wrestler began his pro wrestling career in 1965. In 1969, he defeated Dale Lewis in championship wrestling from Florida to win the NWA Florida Heavyweight Championship. Clue number 3. This wrestler found repeated success in the tag team ranks, holding the San Francisco version of the NWA World Tag Team Championship, the NWA United States Tag Team Championship, and many others. Clue number four. Some of his tag team championship partners included Ricky Choshu, Gene Kaniski, Mr. Fuji, and Mr. Sato. Clue number five. He was the second last man to hold the AWA World Heavyweight Championship. Who's that wrestler? Who is 
Mr. Saito. Question 7. Ridiculous. Clue number 1. This wrestler was born in Kansas City, Missouri on November 30th, 1965 and would play an important role in The Rock's early career. Clue number 2. This wrestler was trained by wrestlers Bob Geigo and Sonny Myers. He debuted at age 22 in Geigo's World Wrestling Alliance. Clue number three. This wrestler was friends with Rowdy Roddy Piper and appeared in some of the Hot Rods films. Clue number four. He worked a Bart Simpson gimmick, came out to the entrance song, Do the Bart Man. Clue number five. He held the USWA Tag Team Championship with Flex Kavana, a.k.a. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, two times. Who's that wrestler? Who is Bart Sawyer? And now it's time for the wild card, if you dare. Remember, the wild card is optional. This week's wild card category is about Cesaro, a.k.a. Claudio Castagnoli. Difficulty, easy. Which of the following wrestlers were tag team champions with Cesaro in the WWE? 1. Sheamus 2. Tyson Kidd 3. Shinsuke Nakamura 4. All of the above The answer is number four, all of the above. Cesaro held the Raw Tag Team Championship with Tyson Kidd and later with Sheamus. Cesaro also held the SmackDown Tag Team Championship with Sheamus and later Shinsuke Nakamura. How'd you do with your score? Let's have the coach tell you how you did. Take it from here, coach. How'd you do? No points. You set up the ring. While you're at it, sweep up the gym. One to five points. You're a wrestling school student. Six to ten points. You're a local talent, or what I like to call a bum. Eleven to fifteen points. You're a jobber to the stars. Sixteen to twenty points. You're a mid-card talent. Twenty-one to twenty-five points. You're an upper-card talent. Twenty-six to thirty points. You're a main eventer. 31 to 34 points, you're the undisputed world champion. 35 points, you're a living legend. How'd you do at guessing these wrestlers' identities? Did you like our new feature, the wild card? Share your thoughts in the comments section and let us know if there's any videos you'd like wrestling's greatest moments to cover. In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and spread the good news about wrestling's greatest moments channel that celebrates the squared circle.